Hi guys, welcome back to Forking Around Kampala. Today I am at Cayenne's newly revamped martini bar. Ladies and gentlemen, this place is exquisite. As you can see, they're already in the festive mood. I'm sitting here looking at a beautiful fireplace that they've just installed in their new bar. It's giving me Buddha bar feels. It might be the perfect location for a romantic date night. So here I am today with Arthur. Hi, Arthur. So Arthur's just made me a delicious chichi martini. And one of the things he's going to show me today is what else they have in store for the festive season for their customers. So Arthur, let's get started. Okay, so Arthur, what are we doing now? Are we going to go more festive? Yes, we are going more festive. We are going to do the eggnog. Okay. That is uh, the Cayenne style eggnog. The Cayenne but style uh, eggnog. eggnog. Okay. We are going into festive. Uh, it has the uh, egg, it yeah. has the uh, gin, the tankery gin, yeah. the glanadine, some splash of milk. Oh. Yeah. But tasty. The way if I explain to you the way it sounds, yeah. you may think it is something, but it's very tasty. Yeah, I'm not convinced, I won't lie, but I'm yeah. interested to see what you can put in What together. I can put? Yeah. I have my shaker here. Okay. I get my egg. Then I put in uh, my tankery okay. gin. You put a double shot of it. Okay. Then I put in uh, some splash of milk inside. <laughs> Arthur, you're not convincing huh? me yet. This doesn't. Trust me, you're gonna like it. Okay. Then first you mix it. Yeah. You mix the all the ingredients together. Okay. You smell the gin? Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that is uh, the eggnog. Then it's not very com I'm not convinced yet. You're not I convinced yet. Yeah. You see how it come out. Okay. Then I put some ice to chill the glass. Okay. Then uh, I put my ice in my shaker. Okay. Yeah. Then we are going to shake. Every martini come, has to have has to be shaken. No, not all martinis. No. Oh, no. Okay. Some are shaken, some. But with this stirred. one, I have to shake it. Right. Some are some are stirred. Yeah. Some are built. Yeah. Like uh, like uh, the I can do for you the dry martini. That, is that okay. one's just a build. Okay. Yeah. But this one all is right. shaken. Okay. Yeah. Now, when we're done with shaking, yeah. we put it in a glass. Oh, now, Arthur. we top up, <laughs> not done yet, Okay. we top up with a, a granadine. See? The granadine gives it the color, yes. different color. Yes. Okay. So, we can shit with a with a, a cherry. Cherry. Yes. Oh, I love cherries. Love cherries. Yes. And I put a toothpick for you. There is. So that is an eggnog. So far, the cherry is convincing me, but I'm not sure. You're not sure about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this not is the one of the best cocktails for Christmas. Just because okay. it has alcohol, yeah. but uh, if without alcohol, this is something you can make even at home. Yes. Yeah. You just get an egg. You just get a granadine. The syrup. Yes. The syrup. You mix. Yeah. You put some milk. You keep it in the fridge. You keep kids to drink. But <laughs> you for you, kids to drink. Yes, without the alcohol. Mm. But with you, if you want to make it a little bit alcoholic, you have then this. you have to twist. Then okay. you can make this. Would okay. you like to try? No? I was hoping we wouldn't say that, but I will give it a try. Let me just give it a up. try. Just mix it a little bit. Mix it a bit. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Then you can test. Try it. Wish me luck. It's something you've never tested, I know. Hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And let me have another try. 
<laughs> now I know you like it. <laughs> I mean, it's not so bad actually. Yeah, it's not so bad. It's, it's not, not so bad. bad. Yes. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna just stick to the cherry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But um, <laughs> this is great. I really like it. Yeah, it's something you can't find anywhere. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. of an acquired taste, I would say. Mm. Yeah. It is down. Yeah. It's something you can take for something you can take like an appetizer yes yeah yeah, yeah. it gives you something clear the throat yeah. then you can eat whatever you want to eat yeah okay well the eggnog okay that's a more festive one and you yeah. really need and then yeah. uh, we have one okay. special one okay chrysamosa you mean it gets more festive than this than this okay let's see that one is more about. more <laughs> fantastic than this one okay the chrysamosa yeah. i can't wait to see that okay yeah Okay, Arthur, so I thought we were getting pretty festive, but you're convincing me that there's something more Christmassy yes. than the eggnog. The eggnog. Okay. Which is uh, like chrysamosa. The chrysamosa. Yes. Chrysamosa. Which I'm going to make for you now. That's a mimosa. Mimosa with a Christmas. With a Christmas. Chrysamosa. Twist of it. Oh, I like that. Yes. Wordplay. Okay. Yeah. So let's get started. Show me what do you put in this Christmas. Basically, this one is a combination of different fruits. Okay. We have the pineapple, we have the cherry, we have the apple, yes. we have the oranges. Yes. Then uh, we put that in a glass. Okay. Then we put some uh, granadine salt, yeah. a little bit of it. Yeah. Then we top it up with a prosecco. Okay. Now that is this, it. Mm. All this is served in a martini glass still. Yes. Okay. We are doing everything in a martini glass. We are in a martini bar. Okay. okay. <laughs> so Almost everything good. goes okay, in a yes. martini glass. Okay. Everything yeah? in a martini glass. Yes. Okay. So. I'll start with uh, some pineapple. Okay. Yeah. Put some pineapple, then I put some apple. Okay. Then I put some uh, oranges. oranges. Yes. Oh, it's very colorful. I like yeah, it. very colorful. Some oranges. Yes. Then I'll throw in some uh, cherries. Cherries. Yes. Sorry. Ooh. Then I throw in some granadine. Sweet, yeah. sweet, love it, okay. It is very tasty. Then I'll top it up with our Prosecco. prosecco. Yes. So what Prosecco are you using today? I'm using a JP Chenet. Okay. Yes. Lovely. Ooh. Ooh, that looks divine. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's your chrysamosa. That's all it takes? That's all it takes. Oh. So, so when would you recommend someone has one of these? During the day, the evening? Uh, during the day when it is too hot. Yes. You can cool have this. Down. After a long day of uh, office work, yes. you want to just first chill down, relax. Yeah. yeah. You can start with this. Then it can take you to your next drink. Okay. Yeah. This will put you in a mood. Alright. Yeah. So this is sort of like a sundowner then? Aha, uh -huh. like a sundowner. After work, you want to sit back, relax, put your legs up, go for this. Okay. It's a very tasty drink, and very tasty. Yes, yeah, so and you throw the spoon in just for those of us like For those of us who want to eat the fruits. Yeah. <laughs> that is, okay. that's right, yeah. So you can uh, sit through it. Yeah, you should try it. This I'm, this I'm very convinced about. Mm, huh? This is my kind of drink. This is your kind of drink. <laughs> my kind of drink. <laughs> I'm not even Enjoy joking. it, yeah? Oh, my <laughs> Oh, yum. Yum, yeah? And I can make this at home so easily. No, so well. easily you can make it at home. Yeah. So easily. Yeah. But uh, if you want to make it at home, you just can make it in a big jug. Yeah. Cut all the fruits, put your ingredients. Yes. Put in a fridge. Yeah. Whenever you want to take a sip, you go put in a glass and enjoy. Well, this is my kind of drink. And I think Welcome. I found why I'll be coming here. Thank you so much, Arthur. This has been You're so welcome. helpful. Yeah. You're welcome. How are you guys? I hope you enjoyed I, I the drink. I'm definitely going to. So guys, Thanks. those are all the cocktails we're doing for today. Thank you so much, Arthur, again. You're welcome. And I really appreciate it. I'm going to have the rest of this and maybe try some of these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Thank you, guys. So guys, it wouldn't be forking around Kampala if there was no food involved. And that's why I'm so excited to introduce South African celebrity chef Zira. She's just taken over the restaurant and bar at Cayenne and is going to show me a little bit of the bites that she has on the menu this season. So Zira, hey, welcome. How are you, Lucy? I'm great. 
So Zira, thank you for coming on the show. We're so excited to have you on the show, walking around. And because you specialize in food, mm -hmm. you need to tell us how we need to line our stomachs before we get into drinking all these wonderful martinis that Arthur was just showing us. Absolutely. And, and Lucy, thank you for having me. And thank you for having Cayenne. Yes. All right. So yeah, Arthur takes care of very much of the bar. Mm. Um, and of course, you've seen the great martini lineup, but we've yeah. got to, you know, fuel your tummy a little bit or line it. It's so important, yes. And so, you know, I've designed uh, bar bites around this that are quick, that are, you know, kind of known for platters mm. and uh, something that gives you a kind of a variety. You know, they say variety is the spice of life. Exactly. Yeah, so let me show you how it becomes the spice okay. of life. Okay. Yeah, so the first thing I want to show you is the, is the platter that we've just introduced. Wow. If you can tell, it, it has just about every kind of protein that you can think of. Yes. All right, so we start up with some fish, cochons. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some chicken seek kebabs, which are done in a tandoor oven. So for those who are watching their weight, this is awesome. This is perfect. Yes, okay. absolutely awesome. Some brie prochette. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, there are Japanese teriyaki chicken wings. Oh, teriyaki. Yeah. yeah. I know. Okay. Just look at that beautiful glaze. Yeah, I mean, all this alone is just making me hungry. I'm <laughs> interested to know what is this over here? Well, this is something, and um, it's very South African, and yeah. I've just introduced it. Okay. So it's chicken livers. Chicken livers? Yes, in a Ooh. creamy sauce. Okay. Um, so when I went through Uganda, I noticed that not many people eat chicken livers, and mm. it's something that I tr I'm introducing, yeah. and uh, it is becoming exceptionally popular. And you can have it with a little bit of, uh, you know, naan uh, bread yes. or a focaccia. Yeah. Uh, you can choose. I just love that you've got your South African touch and flavor in here well, as absolutely. well. Absolutely. I'm going to take it a step further for you. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's uh, we're just down south, but we can, I mean, what, blend uh, yeah. and, and bring it forward. Yeah. So this is a typical, I'm born in Durban. Okay. Okay, which mm -hmm. is near the east coast. Mm. Beautiful city. And you can swim in the sea and oh. have an awesome time in the ocean. Yes. And this is a very typical food of the, the city of Durban. Okay. It's called the bunny chow. Oh. Yes. And all that it is, is, is a loaf of bread. Yes. Uh, which is scooped out. Mm -hmm. And then there's curry. You can have goat curry, lamb curry, chicken or vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of dump it into in the, the bread. Middle. And it, let, it soaks in. Oh. And it infuses with the bread, and then you just bite, you, you tear at it, and you eat it. And it's absolutely fabulous. It's world-renowned. Yeah. You get it in Dubai. You get it in London. Yeah. So, and now you have it in, in Uganda. I love it. Yes. And what I've done is a little twist. Mm. So generally, it's a big loaf of bread, and I've done little baby rolls. Yeah. And we have a bit of goat curry in it. So you can see it's been scooped out, yes. the bread, and I put in some goat curry. Oh, for a minute there, I thought they were like sliders. Yeah, yeah, they look, they, they look, they kind of look, kinda look like yeah, sliders. Yeah. Eh? But actually, they're called bunny chows. Bunny chows. Yeah, and you can have it with a bit of salad and some chips. Bunny and chips. Uh, yeah, these are the phenomenal things that we have on our menu. Yes, this is all looking so great, and the variety is so. It's so vast that it, 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 you cannot fail to find something that you like here. And once again, most of this is grilled. Yeah. Okay, so it's healthy eating. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's no... Uh, of course, we have samosas on the... But, you know, we can add in a little teas there and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, some carbs, which are the potatoes. Potatoes, yeah. But, you know, there's this whole thing about carbs are good for you. Yeah. So... We take great care in what we do at Cayenne, yeah. in our kitchen. Yeah. We make sure you get the best quality. Yes. We make sure that it is styled as it is, yeah. that it looks appetizing, and it is appetizing. Yeah, the display is amazing, and it's so good. I'm so glad that you're putting into consideration health as well. Absolutely. Um, and so people can enjoy meals like this without yes. feeling like it's you know not too harsh on their bodies. And yeah. So that's a really good thing I would commend Cayenne for right now. Oh, thank you. And, and you know, we've started a salad bar, so... Oh! Yeah, we do lots of different salads. Oh my goodness. Yes. Zira, this is amazing. Thank you. I mean, anyway, I, I just love... Look, I mean, this food is great. I believe I need to definitely try some of this chicken liver. As soon as, is it spicy? No. It, it, it's creamy chicken livers. There, there's a hint of spice, okay. which you need because you're adding cream in. Mm. So it actually is very, very good on the palate. Yeah. You try. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
Listen, I'm not even exaggerating. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Yeah. Chicken livers. That's not a very popular thing in Kampala, actually. No. Um, I think there's a lot of goat um, livers that are, uh, that are, you know, sold, but this is something new and it's something to try. Chicken mm. livers are also much more tender mm. uh, and very healthy for you, once again. Extremely healthy. Oh my gosh, I, I need you guys to excuse me as I enjoy this, but this is really delicious. <laughs> I'm glad that you mm. like it, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. And I'd expect it to be a darker sauce because I think liver here. Yeah. Good, my manners. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> She's enjoying the food too much, I think. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'd expect it to be a bit darker. A lot of the liver here has a darker grazing. So chicken livers are slightly lighter. Lighter, yeah. And then, of course, the sauce that we make it in is really a Portuguese-based sauce. Yes. Uh, it has cream and a hint of chili, so that's why you see, and you know, there's a hint of tomato as well. Mm, yeah. So, um, and then some parsley, and you know, it's just the way we kind of garnish things. Yeah, and it's a perfect, I think it's a perfect balance. It's not, you get a hint, a slight kick of like a spice, Yeah. but it's not too strong to disrupt no. your whole meal. Not at all. Not so at I all. think this is great, and if you needed more spice, you could add something into yeah. it. So we're, yeah. we're very good about that. If a, if a customer would like more spice, we're very happy to add it on. Yes, but you know, all our food is pretty mild and at, at a point where it suits the uh, Ugandan palate. Yes, oh, I, I mean, yeah. this is delicious. I could try this, although I might get um, to... Um... <laughs> are, are you worried about weight? Um... <laughs> I, I just know what's going through your mind. A little bit, uh -huh. but I mean, I'm just glad that Cayenne has us covered not only on drinks, yes. but food too. Absolutely. And not just if you're trying to have a good meal, but even just like bites at bars. And I think that's something yeah. that you know, very few restaurants focus on with bars. So I think this is fantastic and I'm so excited to come here. These chicken livers, you need to try them. I've, I've not seen it anywhere yet. Not at all, you, and yeah. you wouldn't. We're yeah. the first in Kampala. Yeah. Thank you so much, Zira. Thank you. This has been amazing. Absolutely. So come here for, during the festive season, try the cocktails out, the martinis are divine. The food is scrumptious. And I don't know about you, but I'm still eating. Please tune in to the next Walking Around. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. See you.